Hey all, Turtle here, and the question of the day is, is Hidden Fates hype still there? Of course the answer is yes. Uh, Chinese Charizard PSA 10 is going for $1,000, so naturally we would open three more tins. But as per usual, let's do a quick mill day. So we've been talking a lot about Legends lately. We kind of talked about what PSA 10s might go for uh, in the last Pokemart. So we've been picking up some PSA versions. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing above a 9. This one is actually only an 8 with Entei Raikou. But we kind of want to just have a master set to begin with. <clears throat> These are pretty cool. We do have the Rayquaza Deoxys top and the bottom, both in PSA 8. Very cool. Let's see. The Darkrai Cresselia top, and then the Palkia Dialga. This time we do we do have both. Uh, we do have one nine of the bottom. The top is an eight, and then a bottom of a seven. So a little bit all over the place. Uh, you know, there's just not a lot of supply, and any tens are kind of like in the uh, almost two hundred dollar range. So we're definitely not touching those. But um, yeah, we'll slowly work on it. Maybe we'll send some off to be PSA graded ourselves. All right, Hidden Fates, three tins, 12 shots at uh, Charizard that hopefully can get a 10 for that $1,000 price mark. Here we go. All right, so we are all set to go. Had to pause for a second. My allergies have been kicking up and just like my nose started running like crazy. All right, first pack, here we go. We have 12 shots. And I think one thing I wanna talk about during this video is some of the crazy good deals that Pokemon has been coming out with recently. The first of which, you know, I'm still shocked at how much good stuff they're putting into that toolkit featuring 2X the, <coughs> 2X the Denes, which we always knew about, but now they're the alternate art ones which is totally crazy. We got a Onyx for our first pack, not bad. Oh, wow, a shiny GX right off the bat. And it looks pretty well centered. Maybe a little off side to side. Top to bottom looks pretty good. Let's look at the back. This one is definitely a good one to send to PSA. Actually, the side to side looks a little worse when we look at the back. So not perfectly centered, but I think we'll grab a penny sleeve for it either way. Regular ETB sleeve for the Onyx. All right, so very strong start. Put you over here and you over here. All right, if you run out of space, that's a good problem to have. So, all right, two full art to Denes, and I was totally stoked about it even when they're regular arts and assuming that the alternate arts would be pretty cool of the the useful trainers and the rest of them would be not that good but turns out there is not one but two non-hollow bosses orders wow that was a pretty dud pack <clears throat> didn't even realize where we were double bosses orders I think like a couple quick balls, some research or Marnie. So they really meant it when they said uh, useful trainers. I just assumed like, oh yeah, useful trainer, like a Pokeball or something. But no, this is definitely the best product and off the heels of the Picaram box, which had four Jirachis. So I love this. It means that playing competitively just got a lot more affordable. And you know, you could argue that, well, it's kind of weird that it they could do this a lot earlier. It's what, over a year since Unbroken Bonds dropped, so before it's finally affordable. But either way, I think it's a great step in the right direction. <clears throat> and I figured that the alternate Arch Dene would be in their upcoming, like the, the next set of these uh, summer sets, like the next Hidden Fate set, that would have the rest of the cards from the Japanese set Tag All Stars, but no, it's in a, it's a promo, which is just crazy. So really good buy there. Then the other thing that I put a, bit, uh, a post on our Patreon page, link down below, is about these Darkness Ablaze double packs where it's like, actually if you buy like a 10 pack off Game Nerds, which they are sold out already, but uh, yeah, you actually get a Darkness Blaze pack, which I think, you know, usually single, like those single blisters go for, I don't know, $4 or something at like Target. 
<clears throat> but you get that and then you also get a sword and shield pack for if you do buy it from like a good vendor maybe you can get it for like 350 a pack for two so we kind of broke down the math and it was basically you know you pay a little bit extra for the darkness of blaze compared to a booster box but then you get the sword and shield basically for free <clears throat> so turns out that's an amazing offer and all right we got another regular gx nothing too crazy just a pincer all right let's keep going but so yeah a lot of good stuff coming from pokemon company right now and uh <clears throat> obviously there's no events going on right now besides some online stuff but when things get into back in the swing of things it'll be good as time as ever to start playing competitively so once lockdown you know once quarantine kind of ends <clears throat> have you ever had any interest in attending like a league or something i definitely recommend you do just see what's going on and uh yeah it's super casual super fun and encourage everyone to try it out. We do have another shiny, a, a Gibble. All right, and any of those products, uh, if you didn't manage to get a hold of them, if you are a VIP patron, uh, you can definitely buy some from myself at the value that it cost me and we'll open it for you on the channel and send you all the good stuff. All right, let's see. Lapras into a Graveler. <clears throat> so I feel like this opening started really hot, but since then has been kind of calm. And after this pack, this is the last pack of our second tin. And we only have four packs remaining after. Hoping for one more good hit. All right, Charmander, Voltorb. A coughing snake cubone charm misty's water command is our rare <clears throat> then Giovanni all right so all the rebel Cl rebel clash that we've opened and unsuccessfully pulled we pulled only one boss's order from like I don't know six booster boxes worth of packs but that's okay we're gonna get we're gonna rectify that with just those just two of those toolkits uh, I think that was like the best news for actually no, the alternate art was best news. Alright, Slowpoke, Vaporeon, and another Reverse Energy. Alright, and if you are catching this the day it comes out, uh, tomorrow looks like uh, shoutouts to Steve and Get Wrecked. Uh, I think Steve made a suggestion Get Wrecked set it up for a limited event during tomorrow's Twitch stream where we'll be running decks that include only single prize Pokemon, so no JX, no Vs allowed. And we'll see what kind of cool matches we can we can have, what kind of decks people can come up with. I feel like right now, there's one thing I have in mind, I feel like it's pretty going to be pretty popular, not too hard to build. I don't want to give any spoilers. All right, two packs left. It's Malamar. All right, let's see, how are we doing so far? One shiny GX, two regular shinies, no full art supporters or gold cards or secrets or anything like that. And the GX is nothing too crazy, um, but I'm happy to have pulled it. Mewtwo GX, that is our third regular GX. And then just a Voltorb. So once again, um, this kind of falls under the category of very good pull rates. The pulls are not not been crazy though. All right, last pack, and let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of like the quarter right there. We got two reverse energies as well. Can we get anything in the close? LT Surge, Nurse Joy, Sabrina, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Weezing. And Mr. Bill. All right, so it was a okay opening, I'll say. Definitely hit-wise, very good. Just not high-quality hits. 
Uh, but yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Check out the Patreon page to uh, just stay up to date. Um, you know, I usually post news on Discord as well as there. Uh, just kind of my thoughts about the various products that are coming out. Other than that, guys, that's it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.